your surrounding for an agreeable conversation. Enough that you travel with me. Must you speak too? Go on then, bark away. Let's see if we can find any method in it. Oh, I think of them as little as possible. As much, I imagine, as you think of gadflies that buzz about you. Not that there is anything wrong with you, of course, just that you're, well, not all that impressive. As impeccably mundane as I have come to expect from this world. Regardless, further study will be required. In fact... The skeleton pulls a notebook from his robes and starts scribbling. After a moment, he pauses and looks back to you. Uh, uh, sorry, do carry on. Just act as you do in your natural environment. Simply pretend I'm not here. Ah, this is perhaps the first intelligent question you have asked. After all, one should always try to learn from one's betters. My people are a race far beyond anything that exists in the world today. We seek to master the secrets of the universe. We craft wonders to last through the ages, long after your crude tools have rusted to nothing. I... I do not know. There are rumors that some have been found at the Black Pits, an oil field on Reaper's Coast. I was trying to uncover the truth when I was waylaid by these magisters. But wherever the artifacts of my people are, I will find them. We have not simply vanished into thin air. No. No, I should not. Not yet. Not until I know what truly befell my people. And, after all, I am still here, despite the Void Woken's best efforts. There is a great variety among our people. Some are tall and lithe, others short and muscled. Some come in a variety of eye-catching colors. Others you can barely see at all. This is what makes you such an abomination, you see. You look almost exactly like every other elf out there. Just as every human looks like every other human. Walking through this world is as repulsively bland as staring at a wall for a century. After a while, the very sight of you disgusts me. Uh, no offense, of course. The Mask of the Shapeshifter? In my time, it was nothing more than a novelty. A toy, really. I crafted one for my child once. She spent the day trying to convince me that she was her mother, even though the face I used looked nothing like her. Of course, now that toy could be the difference between life and... Well, it makes a difference. With that mask, I can shapeshift and walk through this world looking like any other simple mortal. I could look like a lizard, a dwarf, a human, any creature whose face I can procure. It certainly makes traveling through towns easier. Oh, it's quite simple. One just acquires a face, a source orb, and combines the two to make a face mask. Combining several of these single face masks along with a source orb will produce a mask of the shapeshifter. Frankly, I'm amazed everyone isn't doing it. Oh, of course there are. How many hundreds of thousands of you people have died over the years? Almost all of them seem to have been disposed of while still wearing perfectly serviceable faces. It's a terrific waste. Still, 
Without the proper tool to remove the face from a corpse, I cannot take advantage of the many cadavers you're providing. So if you happen across anything that seems capable of ripping a face off a body, please do let me know. Fear? Please. Why would I fear these creatures? It's a practical choice. Nothing more. Moving through this world is so much easier when you don't have to lecture some torch-wielding lunatics on the dangers of an open flame. <sighs> Trust you bloody-minded beasts to turn a child's trinket into a wicked purpose. People like you are the reason it must be recovered. I am using the mask to keep myself safe from the violence of this world. Who knows what evil it could do in the hands of some mortal witch.